How y'all doing, baby? It's Sunday. Sun is shining down here in South Texas. Beautiful day down here. I hope the sun is shining on you somewhere. Anyway, last day of the year, baby. This is it. What a year it has been. We can sit here and reminisce about all sorts of shit that has happened in 2023. But boy, howdy shit, if you thought 23 was a ride, buckle up and hold on, baby, because the new year coming, it's promising to be a boom, baby. It's going to be all sorts of things happening uh, in, in America in 24. And uh, we've got a big election coming up. This nation is facing a lot of crisis. But, uh, yeah, we've been there before, haven't we? We've faced these things before, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Right now, in the situation we're in, I'm looking at three options, three three things that may happen in 24 that are going to make a, a, a decisive uh, change in our history. One, uh, Donald Trump is is removed from the ballot. Boy, how does shit hold on there? Because Donnie's going to come out of the woodwork. If the, if the court comes up and says he can't be on the ballot or states can restrict him from that ballot, then yeah, he is going to come out and call his minions up, baby. He is going to he is going to demand that they take action because they're stealing the presidency again. He's going to keep up with all the, they're they're thieving the presidency and and they're keeping me all that kind of shit. You are going to hear a lot of it, baby, if he is kept off the ballot. Option two, he's on the ballot, but he loses. Holy shit! Call up the maggots. Let's go. They, they stole it again. It's going to be a repeat of 2020. We're going to go through the whole thing. Let's rise up and take the all that kind of shit. That's option two, baby. Option three, he's on the ballot and he wins. And Donnie the dictator is going to. He's going to. He's going to create a new America, baby. We're going to move from democracy into something else. You won't notice the subtle changes. He'll throw you a bone or two to keep you occupied there while he tries to destroy this nation. Odds aren't good on any of this shit, you know? It's, it's not an outcome any of us are going to want, but the, but the outcome of all of it is pretty much assured. If he gets back in power, yeah, it's going to be the worst uh, thing this country has seen in its history. And it will change America forever. So we can't allow that option. Option two, the middle one, he's on the ballot and loses is the most promising, uh, regardless of his reaction. As long as we can soundly beat his butt again, then we can send a message. And we can we can chase the little demon back into his hold, go back to Mar Largo. I don't care what you do. Keep your stinking house mouth shut. You're nothing but a traitor, a disgrace to this country. Just go on with your life, Donnie, and shut up. But option one there that I spoke about is that if he's not on the ballot, baby, that's going to create a lot of turmoil, and we're going to find out that decision pretty soon, I think. I don't know if the court is going to allow this to stand in, in Colorado or Maine or, oh, God forbid, Oregon. The question is in the states right now. They control the, the, the ballot in each state. So right now, until the Supreme Court spe steps up and makes a decision on this shit, uh, that's who's calling the shot, and as long as that's going to happen, it's going to turn into a shit show. So, uh, like I said, baby... Buckle up, hang on to your seatbelts and all that stuff because it is. 24 is going to be a hell of a ride no matter which way this shit goes. Our job is to keep standing fast. I know where I'm going. I know who I'm standing up for. I'm standing up for the decency of a country I believe in that I served. I am going to stand up for the democracy I believe in. I will not let a, a despot, dictator, draft-dodging coward get back in my house again. We already learned what he did the first time. We can't do that again. It's up to us, every one of us individually, to make sure that we face 2024 Semper Fortis, baby, with courage. That's what we have to do. We have to stick our chest out there, baby, and demand that we chase that man from our house. Anyway, it is New Year's Eve. I hope you have a fine celebration tonight. Enjoy the, the festivities. We're going to watch the ball drop here at my house, I reckon, like we always do. And... uh and then greet 24 with a smile, baby, because that's the best thing you do every day is put a smile on your face and do your damnedest to give it away to somebody else. Anyway, Happy New Year. We will be live tonight uh, on YouTube, on Facebook. So come by and join us this evening. Get in the conversation. Bye now.